Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program Fuckers. And uh, today's It's a Paid video from Lucas Taylor. Hi Archie, I'm sending you 40 US dollars via PayPal for a watch review. I've got a Jager La Culture Reverso Grand 976 in steel on a leather strap, a Breitling Navi Timer 2, A13322 with a metal bracelet and blue dial, and finally a ceramic Submariner 116610, that's the date sub in steel. A picture is included. All of the pieces were purchased second hand, thank you, from a reputable second hand dealer in mint condition with box and papers, except the, the uh, Navi timer. I've spent right around 14000 for all three pieces. Let me know what you think of the collection. Also, the next piece I'm looking to add is a more complicated, like a Jager La Cultura Master Control, Master Calendar, or Jager La Cultura Perpetual Calendar, possibly in a precious metal. Another option would be a AP Royal Oak 15300. What would you add and what would you sell, if anything? I don't want the collection to get any larger than four or five watches, and I might stay at three, which is a really good number for me. Thanks for your input, Lucas. Wowzers, Lucas. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. All I can say is, what a fucking fantastic collection. <coughs> it's fan-fucking-tastic. Absolutely love it. Now, Lucas, out of ten, I'm going to give your collection an eight and a half. It is so fucking cool. You followed Archie's advice, and uh, i got to say to you... <coughs> Let, let, let's just go through the pieces piece by piece. The Jager La Culture Reverso Grand 976. Abs I don't need to say anything. It's, it's uh, steel, leather strap, manual wind, big size. It's a grand size. Perfection. Absolute horological perfection. Love it. Absolutely love it. You've got the Submariner ceramic. I would have gone pre-ceramic, okay? I've taken off half a point for that. But uh, you bought it pre-owned, so that's okay. I took off a full point, but because you bought it pre-owned, I gave you back half a point. That's a cool... I love it. I love Rolex. Rolex sports watches. Fucking fantastic. And then you've got the... The Breitling Navi Timer. Now... <coughs> I've come back to Breitling. I've come back. The Navi Timer is a classic. It's iconic. Classic. Classic chronograph. You can't... Those three watches. Sub, Reverso, Navi Timer. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. You can't get any more iconic or classic than that. <clears throat> now, you're saying you want to add a piece. Now let's back, back the truck up. Back the truck up. Now I, I would say let's just let's just back the truck up a bit. Going for a Jager La Culture complicated. They can be pretty expensive fuckers to service. I'd have to say to you, let's just back the truck up a bit and let's talk about it. Master Control, cool. Master Calendar, cool. Perpetual Calendar, fucking expensive to service if anything goes wrong. You know, I, I tell you honestly, you don't need to go for this crazy shit to have a great collection. You've got a fantastic collection. I honestly, I've, I, I, I used to be impressed by fancy fuckers, but I've now come back to usable watches. Usable watches. And i got to tell you, I've got to tell you, I would probably, the AP, stay away from the AP. Stay away. Stay away. I don't know if I'd buy the AP fuckers. That's a uh, expensive fucker. And it's... Uh, okay, what would I add? I'd tell you my advice. Look. 
Look, I wouldn't sell anything. Those three iconic pieces, I wouldn't sell any of them. Keep them. I love the Navi Timer. That is a fucking cool watch. I would add possibly... Okay, you've got, you've got chronograph, you've got dress, and you've got a dive watch. I'd add a GMT. I'd add a Rolex Explorer 2 or a Rolex GMT Master 2. But I'd probably go Explorer 2 because they're better bang per buck. Bang per buck, fuckers. Bang per buck. The other piece I'd consider adding, if you want to have a collection of... You've got to work out what is your theme. I, I'd say iconic pieces. If you added a Amiga Speedmaster, man on the moon, man on the moon, fuckers. <clears throat> I don't know if you need to add an AP. You could, but <clears throat> I, I, I'd probably, I'd say don't for you for the feeling I'm getting from your collection. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I don't know if I'd, um, I don't think I'd add an AP. I, I think in your collection there, I'd be adding a GMT. And then, it's just so, your collection's cool. You've got a really cool, nice collection. A GMT and Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. It's such a usable, iconic collection. That's what I'd be pitching for. That's what I'd be pitching. But hey, it's your choice. Love the collection. Absolutely love it, Lucas. Love the collection. It is a cool, cool collection. I'm very proud of you. So, I, I, I gotta say, that is a fucking... That's three nice pieces. And I gotta say, I gotta recap. I had a stage where I had three iconic pieces years ago. Years ago. Before I got the Calatrava, I had a steel... Brightling Navi Timer, a Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, and a two-tone Diamond Dial Datejust. And you know something? Those three watches, they just worked. They, the collection was... It was just so cool. I, 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 I loved it. I loved it. I really missed that Brightling, the Navi Timer. And I gotta say, in your case, your collection there, I'd, I'd add an icon. Add an icon. And the icons are the GMT Master 2 is a huge icon. The Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon is a huge icon. An AP, if you really wanted one, you could, but you've been warned. You've been warned, okay? So I really that in that, that's a that's a fucking beautiful collection. You should be proud of it. Proud of it! That's the sort of collection I hope my son would have. That's a Fucking cool collection. I love it to death. It's just so cool. It's in the groove, fuckers. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. This has been another collection review. See you later, fuckers.